Hey, welcome. Today I've got a bit of a different video for you. It's not the regular uh, vlog style pl uh, plein air painting. Um, I'm going to do a top seven things you need for plein air painting. Um, so I'm not going to waffle on. I'm just going to try and get straight into it. And then at the end, I'll just wrap it up. I think it'll explain itself. I don't know. Uh. <laughs> so number one, the paint box or as, as is most commonly known, the Pichard box, which is just French for sketch box. A lot of words in the painter's vocab are gonna be from France or Italy. Uh, now, a good paint box comes in many shapes and sizes. I've, um, I've seen people with Pichard boxes have kitted out to fit their kayaks. It's pretty impressive. For me, I like a bigger box. Uh, my one you see here is made by Ben Haggett, who makes all these amazing plein air Pichard boxes by hand with his company called Alla Prima Pichard. Uh, this one is called the Yellowstone Light Pichard Box, and I'll leave a link to that in the description. Uh, what you need out of a good Pichard Box is space to hold your board or panel uh, for you to paint onto, as well as space to sit your medium, brushes, paper towels, and of course an area to mix your paint. Uh, you don't always have to buy a professionally made box, you can always make one yourself. As you see here, this, this is one I uh, put together myself, which is probably not the best example, but if you know someone with some power tools and knows their way around some bits of wood, you could easily make one yourself too. Now, number 1.5, not really a number, but I'm going to tack it on from a box. It's just as important is having a solid tripod, which is adjustable. It's super crucial uh, to holding your Pichard box. Uh, look for a reasonably lightweight uh, tripod as you'll be carrying around everywhere you go. Uh, make sure it's adjustable, not only in height, but in direction it can tilt. Uh, also, a nice little feature that can be uh, life-saving in a bit of wind uh, is to have the tripod come with a hook at the bottom, which you can easily hook your backpack onto or something heavy to stop the tripod from tipping over in those pushy winds. Number two, brushes. Uh, every artist needs good brushes, whether you're in the studio or plein air painting. I use Rosemary & Co brushes, specifically the Alla Prima set that they sell. Uh, you get a fantastic range of brushes from that set. Um, but the ones I most commonly use are the long flats, uh, just able to cover a lot of ground. And if you've got a different, if you've got a range of sizes in those long flats, you can cover a lot of ground and get technical as well. Um, those are just the easiest ones because you don't want to carry too many brushes. You just want about 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 five or six brushes on hand so that you don't get too cluttered with as many brushes. Also, as a side note, a palette knife is really handy to have to help you clean up that palette when you've got too much paint or starting a new painting. Number three, paint. Now, of course, you can't do anything without paint uh, in terms of what paint you bring. It doesn't really matter, uh, but I paint with oil, so I use oil paint. The oil paint that I use is uh, from an Australian brand known as Art Spectrum. Uh, their paints are fantastic and can be found almost everywhere across Australia. Um, I do recommend them. Uh, you can paint on plain air with uh, watercolor, acrylic, pastels, etc. But I love oil paint because it doesn't dry while you're painting and it just it's just a paint that I'm used to and happiest with using. But uh, please, just choose what's best for you or whatever you like the most. Um, but on a side note, uh, if you're going to use watercolor and acrylic, uh, those paints are going to dry really fast if you're out in the sun or wind. So be mindful of that before you head out. Number four, your medium. As an oil painter, whether I'm in the studio or out on the go, I'm gonna need medium with me. I use medium uh, just to thin down the oil paint uh, so that I can move it around on the surface uh, of whatever I'm painting a whole lot easier. Now, of course, you're gonna to wanna to use uh, one part medium to three parts paint. That way you don't oversaturate and have way too much medium. And then when it dries, it's just all, it's like water paint. You don't want that out of oil. Again, I'm using a product from Art Spectrum. This time it's their odorless solvent which is fantastic. It, it has no potent smell that's going to give you a headache and works well for quickly wiping off paint off your brushes if you're out and about and want to do more than one painting. As well as that, I also use refined linseed oil, which is, is what makes paint uh, buttery smooth. Linseed is a medium which has been used for hundreds of years among artists and it's definitely a tried and true uh, medium. And I, I do recommend that. Uh, now, there are other mediums of which dry a lot faster, like uh, Winsor and, and Newton use uh, have a medium called liquid, um, and with that it just dries a whole lot faster and you're able to just 
uh, rework that painting a bit easier than say just working completely wet into wet and a lot of people like that a lot better. Number five, painting surface. I use gessoed up uh, wood panels to paint onto. I gesso up panels before painting so that the wood doesn't absorb the color and the overall paint as it sets. Um, these are reasonably inexpensive to make yourself and fantastic to paint on plain air as you can carry a stack of them without the load getting too heavy. Also when painted onto they're even easier to transport if you've got something like a wet panel carry box to haul it around afterward. Also if you like the texture of, uh, of canvas you can also glue that onto the panel. Number six, uh, paper towels. Now this one doesn't sound as important, but trust me, it's very important. I, uh, I've, gone, I've gone out painting maybe two or three times now that I've forgotten <laughs> to take some paper towels with me, or I've run out of paper towels while I'm out there. It just sucks. Uh, paper towels make it so much easier to switch between uh, p different paints you're using, or if you're painting more than one painting, it makes it a lot easier to just quickly clean off your brushes and get started on another painting. So they're very important to have with you. So paper towels, definitely a really good one to keep with you. Number seven, a backpack. Uh, you, having a sturdy and comfortable backpack is gonna be super essential for going plein air painting as you're gonna be hiking, bike riding, or going out and about, or just general traveling. You're gonna always want a place to easily store and keep and transport uh, all your items such as your paint and your medium, etc., all in one place. So having a really nice backpack is super essential for that. Um, and especially if you're going hiking a lot, you're gonna want a really comfortable backpack. Look for a bag that's big enough to carry your tripod, paints, medium, brushes, and paper towel. My, my tripod sticks just out of my bag, so don't worry if it doesn't fit perfectly. If you can get it to carry your Peshad box as well, that's a bonus. I, I, I personally carry my Peshad box separate, um, just because it's too big to fit in any sort of bag. But uh, if you can get it to fit, that's that's fantastic. Ah! Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Um, if you like the format of like this little tips narration with a bit of scripted work, I had to, you know, I can't align my thoughts too well with my words, so I got I had to script everything. I tried I tried to wing it and just go for it, but I got like a. I go to the first item and I was stumbling over my words and I was like, oh shit, I gotta, I gotta write down what I gotta say. And so, and so that's why you see me looking at the script and everything. Um, so that was fun <laughs> to read from a script, trying to make it a bit natural. Um, but yeah, ho hopefully that wasn't too distracting for everybody. So links to the description uh, in the... Uh, links will be in the description about everything I've talked about. Um, if you're interested in finding all that stuff. As always, let me know what you thought about the video uh, and subscribe, like. I'm constantly doing uh, plain air painting vlogs where I go out and about, find a location and paint there and just talk about life and stuff. <laughs> sometimes with mates, sometimes by myself. Um, so if that sounds cool, uh, yeah, follow me up on, on here, Instagram, Facebook, wherever. Uh, other than that, I think that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.